much for coming. Um, this is Future Awards Central. Welcome. And uh, thank you so much for coming to our Hardware Massive event. Uh, we're doing it a little differently this time. We usually have our events at night, but we're trying out having our events in the afternoon, so welcome. Do we have any newcomers? First time to Hardware Massive here? Anyone? Oh, lots of newcomers. Welcome, welcome. Um, a little intro about Hardware Massive. Um, so what is a hardware startup? Anybody? Anybody know? Okay. So a hardware startup is uh, defined as a startup whose aim is to take a physical product to full-scale distribution. So it doesn't have to be just uh, electronic. It can also be anything from a camera to a wooden toy to even clothes. So Hardware Massive's mission is to empower hardware startups to successfully take physical products to market through education, community, sharing of knowledge and resources, and networking. Okay, so Hardware Massive started up as like meetup groups, but then meetup was not a sufficient platform for connecting hardware startups entrepreneurs after the event. So they developed Hardware Massive, a platform to connect people in the hardware ecosystem, not just locally, but also globally. So now Hardware Massive has become a global platform with many local chapters for each respective city. So we are the Hardware Massive for Taipei. Um, if you have time, you can check out their uh, website for more information. So we're always looking for um, speakers and sponsors and anything. So if you're interested, you can contact me. Um, so every year, uh, Hardware Massive has Hardware Con 2017. So then um, here are some of the sponsors that uh, have been there for the past couple of years. And so this year's Hardware Con is happening March 24th and 25th. So if you're interested in going, you can go onto their website and sign up. And okay, so before we start our main event, I would like to invite our co-host to up for a few words. So please help me welcome Ellen from Triple. Okay, um, I'm gonna spend like uh, five to two uh, minutes to introduce about Triple this uh, matchmaking platform. Just give you a short uh, introduction about the, the Triple is the abbreviation of, uh, which stands for Taiwan Rapid Innovation Prototype League for Entrepreneurs. The e easy way is the Triple, like, uh, you know, uh, what is what we are doing. And um, so how do we start with this uh, platform is the, um, Usually doing the hardware is not easy. Even you are going to crowdfunding campaign, and uh, but the process or the step won't be less. So it's like, uh, you know, e in an easier way, it's, it's, uh, it's like an you know, orchestra scale. Like we need like a 17, 100 musicians to play the, 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 the show. But usually um, stop, don't have full stack of uh, engineer. So it's like a small cloud versus orchestra scale. So you need someone who has a uh, knowledge on the manufacturing process to help you to complete the process to make sure the, the product is commercializable. So uh, the, there's a statistic uh, showing on the Kickstarter, which is uh, hardware related, showing that 25% of the hardware are delivered on that platform, uh, are delivered on time. And uh, 70, the rest of 75% of the project will be delivered at least a month. So that shows how difficult it is uh, to do the hardware. And so what we suggest uh, st hardware staff is to, uh, in the early stage, uh, uh, it's better to involve the uh, people who has the manufacturer uh, process experience. So when you design your product and the spec and the uh, cost and design are feasible uh, when you have your concept and you're trying to prove your concepts to make sure that uh, in a later stage there's uh, not uh, you know, underestimation of the schedule or the cost. So um, that's why we have this uh, matchmaking platform, which is a government initiative. 
and uh, it's uh, supported uh, by the um, economy of uh, um, uh, by the government. Okay, <laughs> so basically, what we do is that um, we help global hardware related staff to connect with Taiwan uh, suppliers. So um, when they uh, have the idea, they put their uh, concept, and they uh, when they are ready to commercialize their product, we help them. Uh, depends on depends on their requirement and demand, and we help them to match with the right partners to make sure the product will be successful in the market. So, if you look at the product development process, which um, our member, uh, the speaker later, will show more detail. Um, if you are the startup and you have an um, idea and uh, prove your concepts on the um, concept stage, and after the after the, the concept stage, then uh, what we call the commercialization stage, then we help you to connect uh, either the product development or like small pilot run or to mass production. At different stage, we help uh, the hardware staff to match with the right partners. Currently, we have like more than 400 members in, uh, across different industry and across different uh, expertise to help you. So what we're trying to build is the the win-win ecosystem, which uh, staff will bring the trend and direction to um, Taiwan. And Taiwan, we have uh, members, which is non-profit organization, to uh, bring the uh, value added to the project. And then we have a uh, design house or system integrators who can help you to manage the project and, and manage the product. And even if you have uh, designed your product, you are looking for EMS to produce the product, we have the manufacturing and factory to help you on the project as well. So we bring like uh, the last 30 years uh, experience of doing OEM, ODM, uh, so to help you to com uh, start to commercialize their product. So it becomes like win-win ecosystem for both sides. So why triple? Um, as I, I mentioned, uh, we have been doing OEM ODM uh, for the past 30 years. So we, uh, the ecosystem of suppliers in Taiwan has a capability to bring the high quality and uh, more customization solution uh, with the IP protection uh, uh, mindset and bring the business. And uh, if you come into our platform, then we will, each project we will assign a PM to help you to facilitate the make matching process. Uh, and we will lead the um, staff and the supplier to discuss about the commercial part. But we make sure you will find the right partners. And the last point is the most frequent asked question, like uh, whether this is project A, B, or C, D. Uh, for now, not yet. So come to us and use our resources. And I'm going to show some of the successful cases. Um, uh, this is the OB, uh, like um, stands for out of box, uh, out of body experience. They are doing kind of like you know apparel with uh, sensor, motion sensor, and, and haptic feedback for mobile VR. So they want to bring the you know groundbreaking uh, technology that allows user to control and feel the digital world. So you can like use the. Uh, this is what they do. They uh, use apparel and with the uh, sensors, and uh, where with the VR, uh, mobile VR, you can sense what you feel on the game. So we, uh, they are um, Highway One alumni. That we help them to uh, match with the uh, Taiwan electrical suppliers, and Lego is one of them, which is our speaker later on. And uh, one of the leaders uh, in apparel uh, industry is helping them to do the garments design. And that's the, the other case which is quite, uh, quite successful in the uh, Kickstarter campaign, uh, doing the panoramic uh, videos, uh, portable ones. Uh, and we help them to uh, do the rapid prototyping and uh, have the, the consultant on the design uh, staff. And that's from France. Uh, Melomai is using EEG technologies to um, do the, you know, uh, relax your, your uh, bodies and make your life e more efficient. And we help them to find the uh, tooling, which is more precise, because uh, the headsets, uh, the tooling needs to be more like specific. And uh, also the mechanical parts, we uh, link them with the partner to uh, on, the, on this project as well. And the last uh, case I want to show you is the, the heart, um, heart disease monitoring. 
uh, that uh, brings the, the uh, um, uh, test in a portable way and help the uh, you know, user to uh, detect the heart disease in a you know, short uh, period of time. Okay, so um, I want to end up with this uh, um, um, slide. Like, uh, if you are doing innovations and Taiwan is the place that can help you, so we our aim is to uh, help your innovation cluster. So um, my name is Alan P. I'm doing the international partnership. Uh, also linkage with the Huawei, obviously international, uh, obviously uh, Huawei staff. So if you have any questions now. Uh, Today we have me and my colleague Marco with a triple name card. So come to talk to us uh, if you want to link with some of the supplier uh, in, the, in this uh, event so we can help you to brief some of the introduction. So for networking, uh, if you see this one uh, with Nantech on, uh, and with our business card and uh, that's a uh, uh, member from triple. Uh, staff from Tripo. As you see, the one with the name count, that's our members, which is Taiwan suppliers. So you can count the person. We also have some of uh, the accelerators uh, representatives here, or some of the you know wireless solution. So come to talk us, talk to us, then we can bring some introduction for networking. And we also have a demo today. Uh, help to you from France, uh, who uh, uh, create the haptic uh, technology. And we encourage you to take a look at it. And then if, if there's any anything uh, new that can be uh, connected, and welcome from Kitchen Box doing the Chauvet uh, cookings. That's also they'll be showing some you know uh, food demo. Then you can try and test. Okay, that's my presentation. Uh, next, which is uh, the, the the most important one, is that I want to introduce you our member Dennis who's doing the hardware and software uh, one-stop solution to support hardware uh, stuff to design uh, from the prototype until all the way until mass production. So uh, he will be sharing some of the uh, key things that you need to be uh, uh, pay attention during when you design the product. Let's uh, welcome him. So we want to do it more like a relaxed way. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can mark it down, or thanks, we will have time to you know, ask a question, right? OK. Hello, everyone. Thanks for your coming today. My name is Dennis on behalf of Metro Products. Today, I would like to share my experience in uh, hardware development uh, for startups and crowdfunding team. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Today's topic, including three major areas, including product development, design, and manufacturing. I will share my experience in hardware development. Uh, some content 
the hardware staff must know before they're kicking off their projects. I cannot guarantee the content I share today will make your project success, but I'm pretty sure they will greatly help you stay away from the dangerous zone. Although hardware is hard, but uh, there still exists some uh, guidelines to follow. Uh, I will share uh, some of my experience later. I have an industrial design background uh, with more than 30 years working experience in for companies. Uh, at that time, I worked uh, as a product management, product manager, designer, and I also I work for uh, prototy prototyping department and the tooling department. So after that, I collect all of uh, information and uh, my resource. I come up with a uh, total solution for customers. Uh, the next uh, page, I will show you some uh, the video about my company. Please take a look. The first section I would like to share is about project management. The first part is hardware development process. I have been working with a uh, startup company and, uh, and the crowdfunding team for many years. But actually, to be honest, I never met any team with the knowledge to handle the whole the hardware project. Actually, there are three steps to follow. Here you can see from concept and all the way to MP. A concept is a unique or amazing idea in your, in your mind. You aim to uh, save or change the whole world. And for the second is POC, means proof of concept. Or how we start should roll your sleeve up to make uh, your idea into a tangible form, allowing everyone to feel and touch how it looks like and what it can do for user. The purpose of proof of concept is to prove if uh, your idea is workable or with the potential of commercial value. EVT means engineering, verification, and test. In this stage, industrial design, mechanical design, double E, will help you to make uh, your idea more user-friendly, like uh, easy to use and uh, user usability or production ready for engineering point of view. 
And next, sorry. And the next is for the design verification and test we call DVT. In this stage, shift function improve and the debug on mechanical, double E, and even software. In this stage, variety of testing and including certification will be applied, including CE, FCC, EMI, EMC, ESD, etc. All for the purpose of product quality assurance. And for the next is PVT, means production verification and test. At uh, this stage, now your project is one step closer to production. Pooling and the manufacturing jig will be ready to produce small batch sample for pilot run. Those samples will be arranged for series of testing, including reliability tests, drop test, vibration, or even thermal shock, etc. All parts produced by the manufacturer will be delivered to EMS, we call it Electronic Manufacturing Service Factory. We'll take charge of all final assembly tests and the packing. Sometimes we call FATP. And to the MP, we call mass production. Once all of the quality issue and the manufacturing process are well settled, it's the time to run a bigger quantity order. So far, the goods should be quality enough and ready to ship out on any to any corner on planet. And this I would like to share is about how development takes time. It might take you around 10 to 12 months to complete hardware project from kickoff and all the way to shipping. Especially the product involves hardware, software, app, or even cloud computing. Especially those product involves hardware. Your new product won't be able to launch that soon because it's not that easy. It's not an easy job. A lot of conflict is waiting for you ahead. Here you can see it takes averagely more than a month between different stages. Don't forget, the hardware must go through a lot of certification like CE, FCC, EMC, EMI, and ESD, especially for those devices with wireless connection, like IoT devices. Please keep in mind, a hardware product will be launched at least 10 months after your project kickoff. If everything goes smoothly without delay, and sometimes including your team member could be fighting together, fighting each other, they also delay your project. This is a trap. Don't touch me too product. When I work for a private company as product manager, I need to arrange a business trip to meet with my distributor to collect marketing information and the new product plan for new product planning. Sometimes they show me some uh, hot sales in hot, uh, sorry. Sometimes they show me hot sales item in their region. Soon I initial a project to respond to their requirement in their market. But it's a trap. Why? Because once I saw a hit item in a store, they also meaning the product is dumping at a low price or prepare to phase out and they don't forget our new product proposal still stay on paperwork stage. It's a lazy way for a product manager to copy the specification from hot sales item and uh, develop a similar one. Our new product will be launched 10 months after project start. The result of my company will get a dead product. The spec already out of date and also the price is also high.
compared with uh, the competitor I focused 10 months ago. So the conclusion is, if you are a manager or you are a leader of your product, please don't make a me too product because it's quite dangerous. Might kill you and your company. Just uh, as uh, Ellen mentioned, why shipping delay for hardware crowdfunding? According to my experience, there are three major reasons. Congratulations, more and more staffs earned their first angel fund from crowdfunding campaign. We also noticed that a lot of media reviews discussing the end result seems not happy as expected. In the category of design and the technology, with more than 80% the shipping for Baker is delayed. Although shipping delay with different kinds of reasons behind, but we conclude the following common mistakes among those hardware projects. The first one, they do not do proof of concept before crowdfunding campaign. Some staffs begin their R&D just after, right after the crowdfunding is done. They shoot an amazing video in the campaign, but the, the prototype in the movie is fake. They don't have any idea how to build their product and deliver, deliver them to, to uh, anywhere on time. The amazing function in video is over commitment compared with final delivery. The second one is they underestimated the cost. They never make a cost estimation for their product before launching their crowdfunding campaign. The money they crowdfunded may be not enough for their tooling payment. And even for the unit cost, it's all higher than they expected in the origin. The third one is they underestimate the project schedule. Because they don't have any experience about how to manage hardware development process. So they never heard of what is EVT, DVT, POC. They never heard about it. So it's very risky and might potentially hurt your brand image and the reputation once your commitment is failed. You could consult and sh you should consult someone is professional in hardware development before you launch your crowdfunding campaign. But how about after crowdfunded? Staffs cannot initial a project only for crowdfunding backers because it's another trap. Once you get success in campaign, two things are very important you should, you should do. The first one is you should get more funding from venture capital. That will make you to have enough weapon uh, or energy to go to next level of uh, your business. You need more money because you need to start to develop a new generation product for yourself. Also, you need a product marketing and you, you need to uh, take a lot of money on it. And the more important at this stage, you need to hire more excellent people or partner to work with you. So you need money. So for the money you crowdfunded, it's far not enough for your application. The second is sales more of your products. Only 500 or 1,000 bakers in crowdfunding cannot make your company grow. You should consider put your product in online store, just like uh, Amazon, to create more sales volume. Crowdfunding success is the beginning, not the ending of your startup business. In this page, I would like to share a key word. If you have a mobile phone or notebook in hand, please key in the following keyword, Dyson. 5127. James Dyson is a legend in hardware development. 
all start to learn from him. From 1987 to 1992, he spent more than 5,000 prototypes in five years to come up with an innovative ever turbo cleaner in their market. He failed again and again, but never gave up until success. I just checked the number. 2014, his sales volume, uh, sales quantity of more than 10 billion US dollars. Just only a vacuum cleaner. And I would like to share the ex experience about design iteration. Design iteration is a series of product development process repeatedly, from design, test, debug, redesign, and test again. If you check the book, Google Spring, they also are talking about the same thing. You cannot expect to get the optimized design result in the first time. Anyhow, stop is a journey to explore the territory you have never experienced before. So good luck to you. Please try again and again. And for the attempt advantage of choosing Taiwan as partner, a lot of hardware staff go to China and look for manufacturer manufacturing partner, but uh, you have a better choice, Taiwan. Because they are at least with three advantage you should consider. The first one is IP protection. Taiwan is a global OEM, ODM base for years. We pretty understanding the importance of IP protection to customers. We always follow the terms of NDA to cooperate with customer projects. The attitude make global staff are happy to stay with us to make their dreams come true together. And for the second, product quality guarantee. The quality of products made in Taiwan is well known and uh, recognized by worldwide market today. Local supply chain is friendly and happy to work with you and willing to share their knowledge and experience to help a staff's project success. Flexibility, speedy response is the advantage of, collaborate, of collaborating with supply chain in Taiwan. The third one is quality R&D support. According to my understanding, all startups need the technical support especially in double area or the software area. Here you can find a lot of uh, key component vendors here. They, all of them with, uh, equipped with uh, R&D support team. So you can easily to find them and uh, get answer or support from them. Even you need a very small volume sample or need some kind of testing jig or tool, you can get the one from them they are very willing to work with you. Especially in IT area, Taiwan is very competitive role in this area. Section two, product design. I will use two case study to share how a product was designed. The first one, uh, in the first case study, I was uh, requested to help my customer to develop a projector for kids. You can see a sample there. Later, I will show you how it works. The first step is uh, design thinking or brainstorming. In this stage, we will uh, collect a lot of uh, role joined to the meeting, including designer or engineer, sales people, or even we invite some parents and kids join to the meeting because this is a device, a LED projector for kids. In the meeting, the project leader should define what is necessary for kids and uh, in a scenario of, of application. 
you should arrange a focus group to talk to their parents and kids, the potential buyer or users of your product. This is what you should do at this stage. And when the project, project manager collect all of the informa information and spec for designer, and in this stage, designers start to use their talent and the tools to develop a variety of possibility according to MRS, we call marketing development spec for the product manager to from the product manager define. So this is one of the sketch our designer develop. It looks like a dog on the ground. And the designer will use all kinds of tools, including ruler, marker, and the pencil or chalk to develop their idea. In this stage, design designers start to use their talent and the tools to do it. And when the sketch, design sketch is picked, the designer will start to use their skill, including using 3D CAD data, software, something like ProE, SolidWork, ADS, or Rhino using such kind of uh, 3D CAD software to build the dimensional model. It enables you to image how it looks like and uh, measure what size the product might be in the future. And in this stage, the designer will using another kind of software for rendering, preparing CMF document for visualizing the color, material, and finish. This is for the purpose of making dummy or functional type in next stage. After that, after the ID is knocked down, mechanical engineer always concerns about how the new product will be produced or manufactured in a more cost-effective cost way. Or if the strength is robust enough to pass the dropping test from, uh, from the height of 1.5 meter. Here you can see, we process the prototyping. The prototype could be made by CNC machining. After fine tuning and the painting, it will look like a, a real product that is mass production. Once we put the PCB inside, in the closure, in the enclosure, then we can make a full function test for the product. From the picture here, you can see. The far left one is uh, before painting. Sometimes we call body in white. In, at that stage, we can test many kinds of testing, including we, if we put the PCB inside, we can check if there exists any interference. After that, we can make painting. And also we can put the PCB inside, painting, and uh, even silk printing. When the prototype is done, and all the mechanism and the box are found and removed, we can go to hard tooling. A hard tooling is for mass production purpose. It allows you to produce more than 50,000 pieces. Of course, it's by plastic injection for bigger volume order. Hard, hard tooling needs longer lead time to build up. Normally, it takes around 45 days for IoT device. Of course, it depends on how complicated your project is. And this is plastic injection. You can pick any color from Pantone color chips for your product. There are a lot of options on racing, like ABS, PCABS, PMMA, etc. And selecting the service reflectedness, like glossy, flat, or matte, or could be applied by following the CMF document. To the final stage, 
assembly. You have almost everything in hand now, all parts including plastics, PCB assembly, and the package will be delivered to EMS factory for final assembly. The production engineer department in EMS factory will issue SOP, means standard operating procedure document, providing the assembling gui guidelines for operators to follow in their own working station step by step. And this is mission complete. This is the final goods. This device uses only 20 lux LED. So you have to turn off your light uh, inside the room. So if you turn, turn on the light, maybe the image is not so clear because only 20 lux. For the uh, professional or office use, it's more than 3,000 lux. It's quite different. So this is low end type. Since this LED projector is, is low end, but it's function enough for kids, uh, they learn English by themselves, or they just plug in the microphone, they can just sing a song, uh, just like uh, using karaoke. The second, uh, the second case study is for iPad projector. Uh, this project also comes from same customer. At that time, when the iPad just introduced to the market, at that time, my customer, they just thinking, is that possible to build a module or build an extra device connected with the iPad and turn, in, turn this uh, iPad into a projector? This is the original concept. So for the, this uh, first image, this is a scenario before we go industrial design, we make so many kind of scenario. This is scenario one. Just like a, a sales manager, Dennis, he preparing all the staff for meeting with customer. He, he, because he need to take a lot of uh, stuff with him, including his notebook, iPad, accessory, everything. So this is scenario. After that, product design must be as light and slim as possible for salesmen. So this is another scenario. We just simulate when the salesman, he meet with his customer, what he looks like in the scenario. And uh, this is scenario three. This is, uh, today is a three person meeting. The iPad projector is must be very handy. In this, in this image you can see, when I sitting in front of my customer, the iPad just put it in front of me. So that means the head of the projector must be with the function to turn vertical. So this is the key function. The project manager mu must be write it down. The projector of the lens must be turned to right or turned to left when the salesman is using it. So this is key word must be designed in, in design stage. And this is uh, scenario four. Scenario four means, uh, just like uh, the image I show you, this is a three person uh, meeting, but uh, it, could be, it could be happen. Maybe the boss of the company just passed the, just pass the uh, meeting room. He said, okay, Dennis, today you show, show us a lot of interesting thing but I would like to invite more people join in the big room. So in, the in that case, the scenario is changed. So we have to shift everything to the bigger room. And uh, the iPad must be connected with the, f with the ability to connect with the office projector. 
So this is another key word. The project manager must understand the head of the projector must turn left and turn right. Also, this device could be connected with office, office projector. This is another key word. So the project manager must write it down and uh, pass off the design requirement to the design department. So for this stage, design sketch is started. The designer will collect all of the meeting records or specification from project de department. So the designer could follow the design requirement and start to the sketch and uh, developing the enclosure. So this is one of the sketch. The designer start to developing all kinds of uh, possibility to develop the, the iPad projector. This is sketch. After that, the designer start to building the CAD model by using three CAD data, uh, three CAD software like uh, Rhino or SolidWorks. After that, when the 3D modeling is, is set, we can using the rendering software to make the material just looks like a real. And also considering all kinds of uh, design requirements, we can put a lot of uh, accessory inside the body. So far, the image you see still uh, computer work. And this is proposal one. We developed so many kinds of design. This is proposal one. And this is proposal two. This is uh, how a design project was, pro was processed. The session three is about the product manufacturing. Here you can see my company work with a very famous design school, Art Center. In located in Los Angeles. At that time, they gave me an uh, assignment. We have to uh, build the working prototype for them. The left, uh, the left drawing is offered by Art Center College of Design. They give me that drawing, and I have to build the final working prototype like this. Actually, this is a design competition. The target of the design competition is uh, to build a uh, personal mobility means you have to design a, a, a gear or a device that is for personal mobility. So this is one of the design. Actually, this is a suitcase. But for some scenario, like uh, Hong Kong airport or Singapore airport, the airport is quite large. When you would like to move in from point A to point B, is takes quite a lot of time. So once, when you are your plane ready to take off, you must use your uh, suitcase, and you just need a push, very simple push, and then the suitcase will turn into a three-wheel scooter. This is original idea. And when you ready to communicate with prototype company, you should prepare some materials for yourself. As I mentioned, the key, the key point that you would like to talk to a uh, prototyping company, there are three things is very important. CMF. C means color. You can use the Pantone color chip to assign any color you want. The second is M. M means material. That means uh, in your drawing, you have to uh, describe very clear what is your material you would like to apply. For example, you maybe you want this part used by aluminum, or use ABS, or use a, a transparent ac acrylic. You have to tell your vendor what is that. So you, you have to use a, all kinds of uh, guidebook to follow. And the third one is CMF. The final one is finish. Finishing means how the service will looks like. Uh, we have uh, three kind of label. It's very common to use. The first one is glossy, and uh, matte, and uh, flat. Such kind of uh, 
different kind of label represent different kind of uh, reflectiveness. Otherwise, the factory don't understand what you want. And for next stage, you uh, in your project process, you might need a small batch samples. There are three kinds of way to prepare it. The first one, of course, everybody understanding is a CNC mill. You can uh, request that your com the factory to do it. Small batch samples with different labels in requirement or purpose, along with the project is going. It could be made by CNC or soft tooling. In the early stage of your project, you might need one or two sets for function test or for pitch or for meeting with VC for short video or for short video sh or for short video for crowdfunding. An easy way is a CNC mate for one or two sets. Or you should consider using soft tooling or, or say uh, silicone mode to produce more than more if you are more than one. If you need uh, more than 20 sets, you can consider to use silicone tooling or soft tooling. Prototype made by soft tooling is more cost effective comparing with CNC made, but quality also lower than CNC made. 25 sets is the limitation for the cycle of soft tooling mode. Once your project goes to production, pilot run is the right timing to prepare, to prepare the samples with the quality of production ready. Pilot run samples are made by hard tooling. Any quantity, you can have it. And for the manufacturing and the tooling management, there are five key words you must know before you talk to your tooling partner. First one is cavity. Cavity, you can assign uh, one cavity in one mode, or you can assign multi-cavity in mode, or we call uh, family mode, means you can put part A, part B, part C joined together in one mode. I prepare some samples there, so there uh, you can see what is one cavity, what is multi-cavity, and what is for family mode. And uh, for finish, I just I just remind everybody there are three levels, including grossy, flat, and matte. You can assign. And uh, for racing material, uh, as mentioned, there there are a lot of option, including ABS, PC ABS, PC or even soft, soft material we call TPR or TPU. You can use it. And for the gate, it's very hard to explain. Maybe later, uh, everybody can come to me. I will show you what is gate. You, you have, a, you have a kinds of option according to your requ requirement. Sometimes you need a very small gate. We call pinpoint gate, but it's uh, more, ex more expensive than direct gate. And also for the mold material, you have many kinds of option, including uh, P20 is very common to see, or NAK80, or uh, Starbucks 420. Uh, this kind is a stainless material. They will make sure your service will highly polish, not just like a mirror, but the most also expensive than others. Here you can see. Single cavity, multi cavity, family mode, family mode, grossy, flat, and matte for finish. And for raising material, you can choose ABS or PC ABS or PMMA. Such kind of material uh, for everyone with his own, uh, how to say, spec. So you have to define what kind of material you have to use in advance. You cannot, you cannot change the spec in the middle because the shrink, the shrink rate is quite different. Once you already assign, you cannot change it. And for the gate, we have a direct gate, indirect gate or pinpoint. And the more material, we have P20, NAC80 or Starbucks 420. And this is the example. 
The single cavity means in one mode in your in your uh, in one cavity in your mode. Once the mode is open, you just only you just only only look at only one cavity in your mode. And also you can consider multi cavity. Once your sales production is raised, you need more cavity for production e efficiency. For example, if you have uh, only single cavity in in one mode, that means uh, in one day's uh, in one day's production, maybe eight hours or ten hours, you can produce only five hundred or one thousand because you have only one cavity. Once you have more uh, quantity demand, you can consider multi cavity. Here you can see a lot of same parts put in one mode, so we can call it a multi cavity. If you have more sales quantity demand, you can consider multi cavity. And what is a family mode? Family mode means in the beginning you don't have a very big market demand. You can consider put all of your parts in in one mode, only in one mode. You can put different kind of parts together, just like a family. It's more cheap to consider compared to a multi cavity, and also cost effective and more efficiency. Once the mode is open. You can get four or five parts at one, in one uh, cycle, molding cycle. And this page is for inspection criteria. Actually, uh, inspection criteria is quite a professional. I want to. Uh, I don't want to uh, exp express too deep, because I don't know either. So here, you, because here you can see there are three levels, very basic level, MI, MA, or CR. MI means a uh, very minor defect, just like a uh, typing error. Good quality. So this is very minor. Your product still can use, but the description on user menu is f is fake, is failed because something, uh, some area is is mistake. All color with discrepancy, all these kind of defects we call the minor defects. But for the second major defect means scratch on product service, just like that. If you get a new car for yourself, and the first day you you see a scratch line on your product, I don't think you will accept it. So this is a major defect. Or some kind of a very special situation. This year, I got one table from uh, IKEA. The table with three legs, and of course, I need the four screws. But actually, when I take the package to my home and I assembly the as, assembly the, the table, finally I found that I only got three screws. So finally, the the final the final leg cannot be assembled. So this such kind of a situation we call the major defect because the product cannot be used. So this is kind of the situation of major defect or such kind of a very serious defect on service. Means that your customer will complain to you about your product situation. But for this kind, I, I don't think most of the customer will complain or refund. I don't think so. But for this one, I think if your product exists, the major defect, I think you will be very busy because your, your online store or the tangible store will call you every day because of your product with such kind of a major defect. And what is the critical defect? Critical defect means my passport injure the user. Like this, your customer will suit you. This is, I, I believe this is Samsung mobile phone. So please, your product never happen about critical defect. That will kill you and your company. And this is a very uh, useful method about inspection method. A lot of uh, staffs or crowdfunding team come to me. They discuss with me about quality level. 
Sometimes they show me like that. Dennis, please see it. Uh, there exists some scratch. Can you see it? And please remove the scratch for me. But this is wrong. Why? Here you can see. When an uh, inspector check the quality, you cannot see it like this, st like this is distance. We have uh, international regulation. You have to check your object in a certain distance from a 45 centimeter. 45 centimeter is very common in the industry. And I check the, the data from Sony. They use 50 centimeter. So that means when you want to check the quality, if it is OK or not OK, please, you cannot see it like this. You have to see it like this distance, minimum 45 centimeter. But uh, this is not a fix. You can discuss with your EMS factory what is the acceptable distance for checking the quality. Some company use 30 centimeters, some company use 50. So this is negotiable. You can talk to your uh, vendor. So this is a very basic techniques to talking about inspe inspection, inspection method. Also, I suggest that you can uh, key in some keyword, something like uh, inspection standard in the Google. You can download a lot of the material, including Sony material. You can download it and check it and uh, prepare some of the specification for yourself. You don't need to just follow, 100% follow some kind of any company, don't need. You can create of your own. And section four is uh, about the portfolios, what we work with our customer and uh, startups before. I work with uh, many crowdfunding team. As here you can see, there are some examples. The first one is Century. They uh, funded from Kickstarter more than more than three, three hundred thousand. No, no, three hundred thousand U.S. dollars. The, the, this project already shipped out more than five thousand. Uh, the project still work today. Maybe I can show the video to everybody. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Maybe later because of wireless connection. And this is another example. The team comes from Japan. We also prepare the, the sample you can use later. This is an input device for the user to use this device to by using their gesture input. And you can use some kind of game. And this is another device for touching sensor. And uh, this product is uh, created by a very small team. This small company, only three person, but consists of three countries, including Hong Kong, Singapore, and Japan. And we will deliver the first 1,000 uh, middle of this month. And we prepare to ship another 3,000 next month. And this is uh, another project the Ella just mentioned. This is an immersive technology for a better view. And this is a cooking device. Later, Sam Young will uh, introduce this uh, more detail about this. And also, he prepares some uh, delicious food by using this, this device. Everybody can enjoy it later. And Mr. Young will share more of this information to us and uh, about his story how to develop this product. From here is some of the example my company work for staff and crowdfunding team. This is industrial design and mechanical design. Including some uh, IoT device, LED projector, or even we design a, a coffee mug for Starbucks Taiwan. 
and including some mechanical devices. And this is a submarine. Of course, it's a scale, scale prototype, around 25% smaller than original one. This is a, a project we cooperated with Portugal from Europe. Originally, this idea will be uh, with the ability for two men to dive to the deep sea, around 300 meters. We have a, a week. We have only a, no. We have only a month to develop this prototype from zero to the product is complete. And this is uh, also working prototype. This is what I mentioned. The original one is a suitcase, but when uh, the when you you, you needed uh, this suitcase into a three wheel scooter, you just uh, need a small push, and it will turn into a, a three wheel scooter. Of course, this is dummy. This is not workable. Uh, when the Art Center College of Design requests me to do it, I have only 17 days, 17 calendar days. I have to finish this job, including using FedEx total to deliver to them. I have only 14 days, but finally we did it. These two prototypes, uh, I cost them, uh, I charge them around 30,000 US dollars. And also my company can do injection and uh, tooling for customers. We do a lot for crowdfunding team and startups. And also we have a very good partner, Ray from MITE. They, the company have uh, so many facility to in charge of a PCB assembly. They have so many SMT facility can do it. So. Once you just give me your CAD file, uh, no, no, not CAD file. You just give me your Gerber file and the bomb list. We can do it for you. Even you need 10 sets only, we can do it for you. So it's very flexible for you to produce your first PCB assembly. Actually, in Taiwan, it's very convenient for global uh, staffs to do everything because Taiwan actually is a small island. But uh, this is a small island with the ability to do hardware and software integration is very easy for everybody. But if you stay in China, it will take you longer time. When you move from point A to point B, maybe it takes you one time, one, one day. But uh, one day in Taiwan or in Taipei, you can do many things. This is our expertise, especially for IoT startups team to, uh, to put everything together. Thank you. This is my portfolio today. Thank you. Hello. So um, any questions that I would want to ask? Um, Anything related to industrial design, mechanical, and maybe we have uh, some partner related to double E, yeah. I have a very simple question. Because the all the process for products are so complicated, and what kind of software you use to for project management and also follow communication? There's all the traditional ways by email and all. And this is really like a very time consuming and also. Yes, this is the most, uh, uh, most the way uh, we use. Because, uh, why I say so? Because uh, behind me, behind me means that uh, we have a lot of uh, very traditional uh, supplier, like a tooling, like an injection. They are so old. So I cannot use a too technical way to communi communicate with them. Be honest. Sometimes I have to use fax. Do you know what is fax? Do you know? Maybe you don't know. <laughs> but uh, but uh, some of them until today they still use fax. They don't have any email. But uh, the lucky thing is that they are very close to my company. I can use bike. I can use motorcycle. I can drive my car to talk to them. Or just I just 
make a phone call, they will come to me. So it's not a, it's not a trouble for me. I never met any trouble with them because it's not, not, not that difficult, not that difficult, yes. My experience is um, there's a lot of like uh, small uh, professional vendors in Taiwan, but uh, they are so professional, but they're probably not good at communication or uh, in English. So we need someone like Dennis to you know, manage them and uh, make sure the quality will be deliver what you are looking for. So that's how the, the, the ecosystem is working now, because uh, not every one of them are so international, but uh, they are in Taiwan, they are so professional in a specific area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my share my I share my experience. If I knock door to the kind of uh, old way, old way supplier, sometimes I'm lucky because such kind of uh, old operation, old operation uh, system, such kind of boss, they are not a businessman. They are willing to share more technology or share their experience with me. So sometimes such kind of uh, old fashion is is good thing to me. Once I call to the very big scale, everything's well well management. Maybe I cannot ask him any question unless I have appointment with them. So sometimes it's quite different. So sometimes if I make a contact with like such kind of old system, I can get more information from them. Everything is free charge. Because like, like the, the such kind of uh, old system, like, they would like to share everything with everybody. Yes. That's w kind of like a Taiwanese style. <laughs> 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 so any other questions um, related to professional or culture, anything related? Yeah. You mentioned that uh, a lot of Kickstarter projects have unrealistic time frames. Can you maybe share a little bit uh, about the time frames it actually takes to first first ship um, for like a IoT project or your projector project, for example? What's a realistic time frame? Sorry, Alan, his meaning is that to an IoT project, how long? <laughs> so probably you can speak in Chinese. So the, the, the schedule for to, to complete the uh, the, the Howard project, right? So Dennis, uh, you have a slide showing the the uh, development uh, schedule, right? This one from kickoff <coughs> all the way to shipping. If everything. It sm goes smoothly. You takes around ten months to twelve months. It takes a, w a year. No money, according to my experience. It takes almost one year from project kickoff all the way to shipping. But under such kind of uh, situation, every every phase must be goes smoothly without any delay. That's my experience. So I want to ask one more question. Where do we start with the certificate? Hmm? Where do we start with the certificate? Sorry, I don't understand. A certificate, like CEFCC. Yeah. Certification, sorry. It should be here. OK. Because of such kind of uh, certification all uh, applied in double E area, not for mechanical. Maybe maybe David can could uh, answer some question for me. Yeah, sorry, uh, I'm sitting as David. Okay, about the certification. Uh, generally, okay, when you will do that uh, at the DVT phase. Okay, so uh, at the DVT phase, uh, just, uh, maybe uh, at the same time we will do two things in parallel. One is we will do the uh, reliability test and the certification in parallel. And uh, for certification. Uh, in general, we will need around three weeks for pretest, and after three weeks, this is in general, okay. After three weeks, uh, for FCC and C, maybe we will need four weeks for application, for four uh, formally uh, to official uh, application to get the license. Yeah. So is this uh, answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you, David, for helping me. Okay, so that means that you need to consider the certification uh, schedules uh, within your project management, right? Otherwise, you will be delayed uh, based on the certification process. Yeah. Any other questions or maybe any experience you want to share? Yeah, about certification and uh, any the other uh, will be present in next. Yeah, next chapter. Yeah. By me. Two weeks after? Two weeks after? It's um, March uh, 17th. Yeah. Because Debbie is a double E background, he can share more of his experience to everybody. You can ask him any question free of charge. So, any other questions? <laughs> so, if not, uh, we'll probably move to the uh, kitchen bar to share with uh, their experience doing the, 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 the project. Uh, so, let's welcome Sen from Kitchen Bat. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you, Dennis, for sharing so many information about uh, the hardware production. And uh, we are, I am Kitchen, we, I am the co-founder of Kitchen Bar, and today I want to show the, our the first uh, crowdfunding product, how we found the idea to a crowdfunding. Uh, I'm Sam, I'm from the Kitchen Bar, and uh, I'm a double E engineer. Also, uh, in my team why take care about uh, the hardware design, also the hardware production. So uh, I spent a lot of time to, to uh, discuss with uh, Dennis. Also, uh, because we are doing a cooking device, so I am the tester in our team. Uh, after we have uh, experience, uh, we will produce a lot of food, and uh, I, my respons responsibility is all, it's all of them. Uh, in my opinion, the stuff just like an RPG game. So everyone starts from a novice, and uh, you start from the level one. So the level one is you need to get an uh, idea to have a hardware stop. So um, probably uh, one year ago, I still, I still, I still not have uh, the idea to what should I do. So I joined a team called um, Mokoversity. They have an IoT study group. And in, the, in this uh, study book, I meet my partner, Cesar. Cesar is a software engineer. I'm a hardware engineer. And we, we build a study group. And uh, I, I say, uh, I show you the hardware knowledge, and you still can share me some software engineer information, like the Node.js, something like that. But uh, we spend a lot of time to teach each, each other about uh, one month, and we think, oh, it's too late, because we cannot learn anything from each other. It's too, it takes a long time to learn about the software and the hardware. So we make a deal, we do it t t together. So next situation, we want to go to the seed studio, we want to make a hexagon, and we need a, a topic to make a hexagon, so we think about what kind of topic is fun? And uh, in the Hexon topic is they want to make a, a new developer kit called a ref a re um, Reform. Reform is a, a phone kit for a wireless connector, Bluetooth, Bluetooth connector. And we want to make a Reform connect to the Wi-Fi and use the uh, Wi-Fi command to, to control the cooker to cook the, the food. So we think if any method to cook is, is easy or use the science way to cooking. So we find there are a, a, a cooking method called science cooking and uh, they're talking about uh, this is egg and uh, the egg will become different the situation in different the temperature. So if we can control the temperature well also, the meat, the steak. So if we can control the temperature well, then we can get a good result of our food. This is our idea. So we start make our prototype. So this is the reform kit. And uh, we buy a, a, 
uh, electronic hot pump in Shenzhen, and we cannot all things and uh, use the Wi-Fi to download a command to the iPhone and uh, c to uh, get a principal temperature control and to cook the egg, and we very successful in that idea. So we come back to Taiwan. We have a competition called Mobile Hero. In the two years ago, the Mobile Hero won some IoT device idea. So we think if we can, if, uh, we can make a smart plug to improve our traditional cooker, become a smart cooker, then we can make a revolution. So we start to think okay, we can bring our idea to this competition. Also, we got a, a good result at this competition. And uh, this is our prototype at that time. I will never forget that this. We, uh, this is our first uh, cut stack. The, this is our first uh, sous vide stack in our project. You can see, because we make our device uh, in a coffee shop. So we cannot cook in the coffee shop. So we cook in the room. Sorry. Uh, you see, we have a, a pot and, uh, a roll and we use a file gun to make this uh, meat. And this meat is already cooked in the rice cooker. And we need to make some uh, cold uh, main effect to make it more test, test more good. We need to use the Falcon to make it um, more juicy or more smell well. So, since I control the Falcon, I'm going to take the camera. This is our first step. So we use a small file gun, right? And uh, that time you will see the next movie is a big one. Okay, it's almost finished. It looks great. <laughs> and tastes very delicious. And the next one is this. We buy a new file gun and yellow one and we want to cook salmon. We want to know if we do the same thing in salmon, that's it how it tastes. So we try this. You can see uh, the movie. This is very big one. Okay, it's very short because it's very dangerous. We stop it very quickly. Okay, so we, uh, after that we got our idea. We still want to move our idea to the market. We want to know if we build this product, if anybody want to buy it. So we use a typhoon to uh, make the questionnaire. And also we go to the market and uh, ask people, uh, can you answer me some question? And uh, first to, first to some experts. We go to a uh, restaurant, go to university to ask uh, some um, chef to help us does this work. And also we join some uh, startup competition because we not only want to know the product work, work or not, we still want the business is work or, work or not. So we join some uh, startup competition. Uh, because we want to make some um, survey, so uh, we need a new device because the last one, the blue one, looks very like a maker. Also this looks like a maker, but seems better. So we use this machine and uh, to go to the last year's ma maker fair, Taipei, and uh, we make some papers there in the tree. And uh, we, we give them some food and uh, ask them if you, uh, if, do you think this food is good? And uh, do you buy this? And probably some lots of people want to buy our machine. It's good idea. It could start. And also, we want to make more I feedback. This is a uh, meet. Uh, uh, this is a um, sure me sure sure meeting uh, handled from the Mac Pro team. They have a uh, short time or short hour every third. 
uh, Thursday night. So we go to this room and uh, give uh, some little presentation and uh, ask them to have uh, some more detailed feedback to me to know about uh, the function or the test. Also, in the in the two uh, in the two case we just share the food and in this case we go to a champion bookstore and uh, we want invite some people to cook with with us so we have a booting party and we uh, go to the champion bookstore and invite people come here and teach them how to cook pudding and use our machine and how they think about our machine this is for the users also uh, Yu Jie Chen is the a professor from the Kaohsiung University of Hospitality and uh, Tourism. And uh, he is the first uh, sous vide book made writer in Taiwan. So we go to Kaohsiung and uh, give, ask him to give us some uh, idea if this machine work or not, does I need any improvement. Yes, he thinks it's good and also um, he can help us to generate some cooking data. Also, this is uh, Chen Qi Wen professor. He used our machine to, to join a um, Korea cooking competition and get a golden award. So it means our product probably is work, even if it's a global competition. So the function, uh, the function is okay, so we need to go to our business. So we go to a Taiwan uh, startup company, a competition called FITI from IP to IPO and uh, we, it takes a long time, about three months. It takes me, uh, it, it, there's a, a lot of expert, mentor to teach you uh, about the business, uh, Lean Campus or something like that. And they uh, ask uh, us to think about how we sell our device or does the people take it or not. Also we got some Another competition is handled by Acer. Also, we got some uh, good result. So the marketing is okay because uh, the function, the basic, probably seems okay. So we can move the next stage. We want to do some crowdfunding. We want to show everybody our device. So we need to prepare startup. The first thing is this is our demo of prototype. If this prototype is on the crowdfunding video, it probably got a very big problem. So we need a, another one. We need a, a new ID design. So we, uh, we go to find the uh, ID engineer and help us to make three new ID. And we want to know uh, which one is people like it, like it. So we make a type phone and put three different kind of device in our typhoon. And uh, this is the first type. Uh, put all things together and uh, add some feedback. And next one, we make a fake door. A fa uh, mean a fake, fake web page or fake landing page. Everyone log into the, uh, go into this landing page will show you different device. Like this, or this, or this. So you go into this landing page and you just see one product and uh, you will choose it, it, do you buy it or not. So we got two different uh, feedback from put all devices together and uh, separate in different landing page. And we, the result is they like this one. So f in the end, we want to uh, build this machine. So mm, this is just a, a prototype image, right? So we need a CNC markup. So go to Metro. Ask Dennis to help us. So we give him all the 3D files and he help us to negotiate with the CNC factory. Because uh, I'm a in double engineer, I didn't know how to talk with the traditional factory. He helped us to do that and also take a lot of photo and the video for us. So like this, and this is our machine. Uh, at first CNC, we, need, we still need some mix, uh, a painting. So this is the result of the first uh, markup. It, it seems pretty good. When we uh, first time to see our product, I just think, wow, amazing. It's amazing. Because 
in the past, I just a 3D printing product. It's very different. And so finally, we came to make a crowdfunding video. This is our crowdfunding, crowdfunding video. Sorry about the Chinese voice, but English subtitle. <laughs> So the first time we cook in road, uh, so this time we cook in the kitchen, it's right. <laughs> So it's different the cooking style, it's traditional cooking style for the steak and this is our uh, perfect steak. The best thing to have a uh, crowdfunding is you can become a movie star in the, your crowdfunding video. You can see me in there. <laughs> You see that? <laughs> so I just want to be a movie star, so I make this crowdfunding. Okay, uh, so everything is uh, ready. The video is ready, the mock-up is ready. So next thing is we need to do some call, uh, pre campaign Because you ask how we set up and you just put your device on the crowdfunding page, nobody know, know about you. So you need to start to tell people you, are, you will start to prepare this campaign. And uh, we make a then not a landing page, and uh, tell my friend tell, uh, to put some Facebook ad to tell people we started, start to uh, make this machine, and uh, have them ask them to fill some email to us, and we collect about 4,000 people to want to join us. So the number is enough so we can start our crowdfunding. So go back to crowdfunding, we May we face the first question is uh, my partner, Caesar, and me is we are engineers. We didn't know about the crowdfunding. 
we study a lot. We we find a lot of study case from the website, but we still still did not know how to do it well. So we go to find the back founder. Now back founder help us to um, take the video, and also the take the the story of our campaign. So finally we successful on our crowdfunding. Thank you, and. Uh, but there, there are still a lot of things you need to do it yourself. yourself. Like uh, we need to do our, this is our Facebook fans page. You need to handle your fans, operate your fans page yourself. And also, there are a lot of people will ask about your machine's question. You need to answer them. Your, uh, your outsourcing or your helper will not, didn't know about your device. So you still, still need to do it yourself. Also, the crowdfunding, I, uh, when doing this copy, I'd be very sad. Why? Because um, every product will have its hater. So we got some hater. They say, oh, um, the, also the temperature, com temperature control device, we can buy it from Taobao, from China. It's very cheap. It just connect with the Wi-Fi and connect with Bluetooth. Why you you, you sell so many monies. And also you get the, the, the professional chef probably say, oh, this machine just cook with rice cooker. Probably it, it, it is not professional enough for the service cooking. So they will give you a lot of um, negative, uh, negative message. And in the beginning, I feel very sad about that. Uh, but, and I probably just fire or six people just say about that, but you will concentrate on them. Finally, I find it's wrong. You need to do your product well. And uh, because they are adopt, because we can crowdfunding successful means still a lot of people like our device. So I need to concentrate on develop my, my product, make it well, and ignore the negative messages. So, uh, the crowdfunding finish, the next, the final stage is mass production. Uh, in that stage, I go, I do in the mass production. So I think the first thing you need to do is find a good partner. Um, the partner can separate in two parts. One is mechanical part and the double E part. But uh, the true thing, uh, in my opinion, the true thing, um, the idea is not how it cheap or not, and uh, if you see, if they not only give you the good product, uh, but also they will teach you a lot. Just like Danny say, a lot of staff will go to at him. A lot of um, producing process the language is very different to to our normal language. You didn't know what the traditional company. What are they talking about? What is uh, about uh, like a uh, carry or something like that? We didn't know about the language. So you need to, uh, they all need a person. They are very kindly to teach you a lot of things. So when you do the first company, the first thing is not choosing the cheapest company. All, all you need to do is choosing a person who can teach you more. And the other thing is the cost. So the second thing is cost. Uh, the cost, what can, I, th I think there are two kinds of different cost. One is one-time fee, and the other is bond cost. Um, the idea is bond cost is low, is good, but probably you want the low bond cost, it will make your one-time fee up, because like uh, the mod free. Just like uh, the Danish said, uh, if you, Build the all your device in one mod, probably the mod fee is less. But in the future, when you producing mass production your device, the bone fee will go high. So you need to think about it. But if you take too many one-time fee, probably it, it's very difficult for you to uh, for your company's financial problem. And also uh, the double E part. Because you, you start going one to 100 or 1,000. And uh, probably your first uh, markup is using the Arduino or the Raspberry Pi to build.
build your device. But in the past, you can buy your component in Taobao, in Guanghua, in Mouse, something like this kind of um, component provider. But when you want to provide, become a mass production, you need to find some distribution. And every component, every chip, or every, even if a resistor, small resistor, have its uh, or different uh, distribu distributor, you need to talk to them different peoples, a lot of peoples. And then you need to f spend a lot of time to talk about MOQ, mass, uh, mass order, a minimal order quality. Probably will tell you you want you you need to buy it uh, 1k one time or 3k one time, and uh, the leading time, because you go the crowdfunding you promise that your baker say oh probably I need I will uh, deliver deliver you your product in middle of this year, but probably your component cannot give or cannot arrive before you mass production your device. So this time will become kind of a problem. If one, uh, if one, um, the call, uh, the market probably cannot pre provide you. Need, you need to find another one. It take you a long time to find a different distributor. Also, the final thing is the price. The price is related to the 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 quantity. Sometimes you just won't buy one K de device, and they tell you. If you buy 1K, it will cost you probably two USD dollars. And uh, he will ask you, if you buy 3K, it just cost you 1.5 USD dollars. So you should, buy, you should buy more or less. You need to make the choice. It's a problem. And finally, I think uh, after the crowdfunding, after the first uh, mass production, I think the pop, the most important thing is the service. A good service, in my opinion, the good service means the good product. So a lot of uh, crowdfunding product, they will manage their uh, fan, Facebook, 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 uh, Facebook, Facebook, the, the fans page. They will manage it very well and and year by year, month by month, day by day, and to provide the best uh, service. So the best service means the people always want to buy your things. So and the idea is continue to do your service in the future, not just make a good product. And in the end, um, I hope you can test the, our provider uh, digital food later. And also, if uh, please kind to click like in for our Facebook. Book a page, thank you. Okay.